Hey guys, what's going on? So it's been a while since I've uploaded one, Call of Duty, and two, Dumb Yahoo Answers. So here is both of those. And before we get to those, I just want to say I am still working on my 300k special video, um, 300k subscriber special video, and I don't know when it'll be done. I've, I've been working a lot lately, actually. So like I just got home, I don't know, a couple hours ago. So that's why this video is so late. Uh, I got to get better at scheduling them and, and just having them go upload on their own at a, at a good time. So I'll work on that, guys. But let's get to the dumb Yahoo answers. Why do women marry an inmate, someone they didn't know until after he was incarcerated? What's the appeal? So I'm pretty sure this is just the result of a typo. He meant, probably meant like, oh, why did this woman marry an inmate? You get it. But it sounds like he's saying every woman is like, oh man, I would love to get me a prisoner. That's the kind of husband I want. Like it's the ideal dream man. <laughs> I don't know. I really thought that was like a cute little typo that was funny because if you just picture that, like every woman like being madly in love with someone who's in prison, it's just, it's, it's kind of weird. Man, them bad boys, them criminals, yeah. Why during the job of blow does man like and sometimes insist he sees woman's eyes? <laughs> so the thing I noticed about browsing the gender study section of Yahoo Answers was that there were a lot of people whose language was, um, their first language was definitely not English. Um, it's probably just people trying to like, you know, get used to our culture. And so they think, they say things like job of blow. And this is like, this is the epic, it's an epic thing to call oral sex. Just, oh, job of blow. It, it makes it sound so much more artistic. <laughs> would you dump a man for leaving the toilet seat up? Okay, in all honesty, yes, I would. Is that too trivial a problem to jump someone? <laughs> Damn, like, and you thought you had standards for your significant other. This person, <laughs> holy crap, that seems really cruel. I don't know, it seems like a really small thing to me because it's something like you can so easily forget to do and I understand that. But one of the comments um, where someone answered this question was like, yeah, because you know all women take flying butt leaps to the toilet and could get seriously injured. <laughs> and that that brought me to my next point, which is flying butt leaps. Oh my God, you guys. I think after I make this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in my bathroom. I'm going to be like five feet from the toilet, right? And then I'm going to do a squat and then just like, you know, jump with the strength of all of my legs, you know, cause I'm doing the squat. So I'm getting like my thigh muscles in there and my, um, you know, all the muscles and then I'm going to leap. I'm going to do a fl flying butt leap going butt first into the toilet. And I'm probably going to die. So it's been lovely guys, but seriously, flying butt leaps sound epic. Like how many of you are going to go try a flying butt leap right now? Maybe not into a toilet, but you might do it into a bed. I bet everyone's planning on it right now. Is it weird that I enjoy hugging other men? I'm straight, but I feel a weird kind of security when I hug my guy friends. Am I the only one? Dude, you are just experiencing some bromance. It's a beautiful thing between men. <laughs> how many? All right, guys. All right. For the guys that are listening. How many, do you guys enjoy hugging your man friends or do you just not even touch them at all? Like hugging is like, that is just something you do not do. You do not touch each other. Or is there like mad bromance there? Let me know. I'm curious. Why do most women enjoy bathing more than men do? Most women I know bathe for pleasure as well as for hygiene. If they need to cl get clean quickly, they shower. But if they want to bathe for the fun of it, they take a bath. My hunch is that women enjoy being naked and that is a big reason why they bathe more than guys do. <laughs> I felt maybe I'm the only girl who feels this way and girls, let me know in the comment section below. We see we had a boy question night and a girl question night. This is wonderful. Uh, <laughs> we should do a series where we do like men versus girl and we all like answer something and, and fight about something in the comments, like us comments below. That would be fun. But anyways, back to the point. So girls, um, am I the only one who it's, this is definitely like not the case. Like I take baths because they're relaxing. You know, you put bubbles in there. It's nice and warm. It's just nice. It's just peaceful. 
and relaxing and I like to do it before I go to sleep. But <laughs> I, I do not take baths because I want to get naked. It's not like I like come home after like, I don't know, a long day out or a long day of traveling and I'm like, damn, I can't wait to get naked and put my naked body in some water and, and just be at complete nakedness with myself. <laughs> It's just, so, it's, it felt like, that feels like such a guy thing to say, like, hmm, the women must enjoy being naked. <laughs> like, no, no. I mean, it's not that I'm against getting naked, that's fine, but I don't, like, I don't take baths because I want to get naked. And I don't take showers because I want to get naked, too. Doesn't it go both ways? I mean, people get naked for showers, right? Am I the only one who's, like, taking off all my clothes to take a shower? Is that a no-no? I think in, like, high school swimming class, that was the only time I, like, I just kept the bathing suit on. Everyone did because, I don't know, self-conscious teenage girls. That's what happens. Here is an interesting answer to a question. So the question itself is probably just a result of where this person is from. And what it basically says is, why do I only see white women with black men or white men? And obviously that's not true. If you live in a city, you see all the races coupling up in, in different pairs and, and whatever. It's really diverse. And interracial dating isn't really that big of a deal. But in some places, it's still kind of weird or it doesn't happen that much. So in this case, the guy was like, well, I only see women with black men and white men. I don't see when I don't see them with Asians, Latinos, whatever. And um <laughs> which actually you guys like the other day I was grocery shopping and it was the first time I've ever seen this combination and it was a black girl and an Asian guy. And I've i I've never seen that combination before. So I was excited. I was like, hell yeah, people, do it. Anyways, the answer I thought was funny to this question was this. It's also funny, as you will see many Western European or American women these days attracted to Asian men, as they've heard somewhere that China is going to run the world soon, and these mercantile women hurry to catch the opportunity. And so, what? I, this is just the thing that's kind of generalizing women, but again, it's funny if you think about it that way, that all women right now are like, shit, man, I got to find me an Asian because China might want, they're going to run the world. And what am I going to do? You know, I can't have a white husband. He's not going to run the world. I'm like, what? It's just so weird. I don't know why people say this stuff. It's just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I have to end it at that silly statement. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.